The hardware in a loop simulator, the HIL, is the virtual test bed where students develop their controls and simulate their vehicle's energy consumption and performance before they actually get into the vehicle itself. The main objective of utilizing the hill is to plug in their supervisory controller and test the code that the teams have developed in a virtual safe environment before installing it into the physical vehicle. Here in Yuma, there's a large amount of physical integration occurring, but you also see a large amount of work being performed on laptop computers connected to the vehicles. On these laptops, students are actually plugging into this controller and fine-tuning their controls to ensure components work correctly, optimize their functionality, or even debug their systems. The HIL allowed us to verify and validate our controlled logic before putting it onto the real vehicle. We were able to test our electric motor, our ESS, our engine, and our belted alternator starter motor. So before putting the entire system together, we test those individual components and that helps us learn a lot more about the component itself. Then we know information about all the different components and then we combine everything together. So those different versions of our hill test benches allow us to make an entire system possible. In the documentation, they told us how the uh, battery control module was expected to perform. By following that, we were able to model and simulate how that was going to happen, and then we could upload that to the hill, then broadcast exactly what the ESS was going to do. And that let us develop our control strategies. When we were ready to put it in the car, it was plug and play, and it all just worked. Like, it was done. It was, so, it was great. Uh, our hardware in the loop is, is special. Um, because all, everything that, that's in it, all the models of the, the plant models and the soft ECUs, we made them all in-house. We also incorporated active fuel management. Because our vehicle has a V8, we can actually disable four of the cylinders to get better fuel economy. But we actually had to create a model of how the vehicle actually goes into active fuel management because there's tons of different conditions that'll throw it out of AFM and go back to a normal V8 operation. By the end of the competition, it should be able to have very accurate models. And the more accurate they are, the more they represent how the vehicle responds. It allows us to have confidence that what we're doing in Hill will reflect how the vehicle would actually respond.